Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a video that has been in the works since January. I will explain that a little bit more, but I ordered three mystery boxes online and I am very excited to finally open them with you today and see what the heck they are because they could genuinely be anything. <laughs> I do also want to say this is my first sit down video in the new house and I think it's going to take me a while to figure out you know the filming locations I like for sit down videos. Unboxings it's hard because I like to have a table or like a desk in front of me of some sort. All my furniture is not in here yet so it's very echoey. It's just it's not the best and I fully know that so thank you for your patience as I get settled in and as I find where where works to film sit down videos like this. So back in January, I decided to start filming this video. I filmed the whole sit down portion where we looked together online. We found three mystery boxes and we ordered them, except for one of them showed up. Mm -hmm. One of them got lost and one of them, the order never actually went through, even though I got a confirmation. I don't know. So I only got one of those and that is this one, which is from a place called Just Dream Catchers. This one I ordered through Etsy. We ordered one through Google, one through Etsy, one through Amazon. Only the Etsy one showed up. So I scrapped basically all of that footage and instead I ordered I found, this is my old address I've since moved, which is why I haven't blocked it out, but I found that one of my favorite subscription boxes was doing mystery boxes, woman collective box. So this is the only one I'll probably actually like anything inside of. And then I found a beauty one on Amazon and it arrived in this. It arrived in this little Harry Potter Gryffindor bag. I've never watched or read Harry Potter, so I don't even know what a Gryffindor is, but it's gonna be very interesting nevertheless. <laughs> I say let's start with the just Dreamcatchers box. It's just a plain white box. I really don't know what to expect. It says mystery box for women, prize gift for fun, personalization not requested on this item. And that's all it says. So since this is a Dreamcatcher company, I don't know if it's just going to be a Dreamcatcher in here. It there's something kind of hefty in here. Something about this makes me more excited than subscription boxes at the moment. Because subscription boxes, you kind of know what to expect. You see spoilers, you see things like that. This, you have no idea what to expect or how to get it open. Oh, it opens this way. Okay, so you just have some paper, some more paper. First thing, this does feel like a dream catcher. I don't think dream catchers are appropriate anymore due to cultural appropriation is that correct i'm always trying to learn so i don't i don't know do your own research but this says relaxation and serenity and it is a dream catcher by a real cherokee artist guys did you know i'm actually legal cherokee i am the last legal cherokee in my family my children will not be legal cherokee but technically i am so that's cool that it's cherokee but there is a few non-dream catcher sized things in here oh we have pears transparent soap pure and gentle with plant oils okay interesting mix so far a dream catcher and a bar of soap i don't know what this is permanent mark Markers. Kind of random. Useful. I mean, soap and permanent markers are definitely useful things. Oh, is it a candle? Yay, it is a candle. I think this is luminescence. I feel like this is like a like a CVS or a Walgreens or a Walmart kind of brand. Haven't you seen these before at like a big box store or a drug store or something like that? Fresh linen. It smells like fresh linen-y. I'm picky on candles, y'all know that. And there's a lot I love, but... I don't know. I don't know if I would burn this one, to be honest. Here's what it looks like. One more large thing in here. What is this? Oh, cute. It's one of those adult coloring books. This one seems to be full of patterns. Maybe that's why they gave those Sharpies. That would make a little bit more sense because now you have like colored markers. It's like partially already colored, which is interesting. Not by someone, but just like the book itself. See, some of these already have color on it. That's cool. Um, that was definitely interesting. I'm obviously, these are mystery boxes, so my expectations are very low. Except for a woman's collective box, my expectations are pretty high. That's about what I expected, probably. Should we do woman collective or the odd Amazon Gryffindor? Let's do woman collective and let's save the odd one for last. This one I am excited about. I think basically what she's doing, this is not sponsored, I bought this with my own money. I don't even think she knows that I bought this for this video. What I think she's doing is she has an add-on market or like you can essentially buy things from her shop as well as 
Shulter's her subscription box. And I think that there's different price points for the mystery boxes and she'll just throw in some random things that she has surplus of or that she's selling in her in her store part of her business. So that being said, I'm definitely expecting it to be cute. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. Okay, so she did see that it was me that bought this. She said, Mikkel, thank you for all of your support. I got a bit carried away curating your box. So this one is actually a $75 box, which is a $90 retail value. Hope you love it as much as I do with a few stickers. Rochelle's the owner of this business. She's adorable. I love her so much. I think I bought the $50 box. So she essentially gave me the $75 mystery box is what she's saying. So it's very sweet. Thank you, Rochelle. I'll have all these things linked down below. Oh, another sticker. I'm gonna put one of these on my laptop probably. Okay, I'm excited. Ready? Ready? Let's take a look. Right on top, I already see something that I'm very excited about. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is a pendant necklace and it has, I don't know if you can see, it has a silhouette with basically like florals growing from the head. Very fun, artsy. Oh my gosh, so my style. It's fun that we have like mystery boxes full of crap and mystery boxes full of things that I love. <laughs> I don't know what this, oh cute, I do know what this is. This is basically like a little produce bag of sorts, is that what you call this? Consciously hand dyed products to help you live a brighter, more sustainable life. This is by Dye Raid, D-Y-E-R-A-I-D. Oh, this is so cute. Honestly, not just fruit, like you could also take this to the pool, you know, throw in your sunscreen and your book and your sunglasses and call that a day. Oh, this is something cute. Oh, so cute. It says, in a field of roses, she is a wildflower. That's just a cute little sign. This says, it's by Amani Collective, handmade in Kenya by Pendo. Wow, that's so sweet. Do you know what? I just had a, uh, this is a very odd thought for me to have, but I was thinking back to the days that I had lockers in school and I was like, this is about the exact same size as a locker door and how cute would that be hanging in a locker? <laughs> and there's, oh gosh, there's something big in here. I think that's the last thing. Let me confirm. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is already my new favorite mug. This came at perfect timing. I have a funny story, but okay. I love that the raw clay bottom and it's kind of a more matte finish with the little speckles. And then this handle is a kind of unique shape, which I love as well. Do you know why this came at perfect time? This morning, I have, I have like three mugs that I would consider to be my favorite mugs. I broke the handle off of it. I dropped it and I like whacked it to try to stop it. And I whacked it against the counter and the, the handle broke off. So this came at perfect timing. Rochelle, you did a great job. This was less of a mystery, I suppose, because since she did see it was me that ordered it, she probably knew like, oh, Mikkel would like this to put it in my box. Now the one that I know we're all so curious about. This is from Amazon and this was marketed as like a beauty mystery box. I will link this one down below as well but the picture of it was like a light pink cardboard box and so that's what I expected it to be delivered in no this was in like one of those like Amazon bags so Brooke opened it being like what is this and then this was inside he was like I think this is yours and I was like is that my mystery box and I checked the order history and it said delivered and I was like I guess it is so <laughs> oh wow it is so stuffed in here. There is a lot. Let me see how much I paid for this because that might be helpful to know. So this was $47.50. So it's kind of pricey. They also have a $70 option as well. Okay, let's look. First, we have a shadow palette by Revolution. I wonder if this is all going to be... When I heard beauty, I was like... Oh, no, 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 there's a variety. I didn't know if beauty was gonna be just makeup or like makeup, skincare, body care, hair care, nails, all beauty stuff, you know? Oh, oh, wow. I would use this color, this color, and maybe on rare occasions, this one and this one, but never these four. <laughs> I'm boring, what, what can I say? What do you want from me? I like my nudes and my neutrals. Um, This is a empty container. It says Caitlyn Derling Makeup and Beauty. I don't know what was supposed to be in here. Maybe a makeup brush. I feel like that's like the correct size for a makeup brush typically. Maybe it fell out. Maybe they just gave me an empty container for the heck of it. Oh, this is a very popular brand. This is Malin and Goats. Did I say that wrong? But this is their cilantro hair conditioner. I'm actually impressed this is in there. I feel like this is in fancy hotels, like very trendy hotels in the bathroom a lot. And I am glad to see that it is sealed because it doesn't feel very full. And I was like, I wonder if they give some like half used products sometimes. Oh, interesting. 
Number seven laboratories, firming booster serum. Skin looks visibly firmer in just one week. Um, so it has like massage wheels on this product and it shows you how to massage it up your face to help firm your skin, which is very interesting. Ah, look, I said nail. I ha don't have anything on my nails right now. If you guys have been following my health journey, a while ago, my nails almost completely detached and then months went by and they grew back out, but they're starting to detach again with all of my health issues, which is really great. So that's why my nails look disgusting right now. But this is a very pretty gold color. It says it's by Nail Cynic London. Superstar get up size 14 milliliters. The Inky List of Vitamin C. This kind of is feeling like a subscription box, is it not? Like a oops, wide variety of things, but this feels kind of cheap. Inky List Vitamin C Brightening Skin is what it says. Oh, serum on the back. Okay, it's a serum. Oh, the Ordinary. Wow. I'm impressed with this. Antioxidants. I'm gonna say this wrong. Hyacinon. I'm not gonna try. Apply alone or after water-based serum. I've never tried anything from the Ordinary, believe it or not. I know they get a lot of hype. This is It's Your Brush Love Instant Brush Cleaner. I really need to clean my makeup brushes, so I'm actually excited about this. It's by It Cosmetics. All in all, this is less of a fail than I was expecting it to be. There's still a few more things in here. This is Fiery Pink Pepper Bath and Shower Gel. This kind of feels like a throwaway item to me. A sensual nail file. And last but not least, whoa, some Bahama Lashes. These are pretty dramatic. I don't think I would be able to rock those. Oh my word. This was quite interesting. Um, the first box was definitely what I would expect as a mystery box. The second box I knew I was going to love and I did. And the third box I had low expectations and some things were great and some things were terrible inside of it and this is a very interesting choice for how to send it to someone. <laughs> there are so many on the internet though, so I would love to do a part two of this. If there's a box you want me to order, link it or list it or let me know down below and I'll look into it. Another video I really wanna do is you can order a palette of returns from certain stores. Like you can order a palette of Target returns and it's just like a mystery as to what the boxes will be. And that's something that I really wanna look into as well. So if you like those ideas, let me know down below. Also, I'm so excited to be back doing unboxing unboxings and things like that. I have some sip and thrifts coming up. I have some deep dive unboxings and of course some massive unboxings coming soon. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, I would love to officially have you be a part of this online friend group. Also a ton of moving vlogs if you haven't noticed, but there's even more to come. But I love you all so very much. Thank you for spending this time with me and for clicking on this video. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in.